I ate a for, ruining, my boyfriend's sister's baby shower? I, 16F, went to my boyfriend, M17, sister's, 29F, baby shower he invited me because I get along with a lot of his immediate family and thought it'd be a good way to introduce me to some of his extended family, cousins, aunts and uncles. I had a bad feeling that I'd get the question anytime they're out with their boyfriend to a family event and I got it. One of his aunts who I didn't know too much came over while I was playing with the younger kids and took me over to where some of the other aunts and my BF sister was for some, girl talk. What she meant was an interrogation about my future life choices what university did I plan on going to? What did I want my career to be? My opinions on marriage? This was more the aunts than the sister, she was pretty silent during it. I answered each one calmly. They seemed to not like the fact that I didn't want to ever be married. Even though that's also my boyfriend's opinion then the question came, do you want kids? I said never because I don't want kids, for multiple reasons but I got interrogated about why don't I want kids. Would I ever adopt? Doesn't my boyfriend want kids then the aunt who pulled me away asked what would happen if I got pregnant by accident. I told them that's very unlikely but if it were I'd most likely abort. They looked like I said I'd kill it with my bare hands. Telling me it'd be different if I was actually pregnant and that when I feel a life growing inside me it would be different I told them I'm sure that's what they felt but at this moment I don't want a kid and never want a kid. So that is what I would do when I went back outside I told my BF what happened and went to play hide and seek with the little kids and everything was fine but when we came back in to eat my BF's aunt asked. I thought you didn't want kids I reinforced that I didn't and she brought up that I was really good with the kids at the party. I explained wanting kids and being good with kids are two different things she then told my BF that I need to leave and I ruined the party because of my opinions and what I said while she was making conversation. My BF said we'd both leave since his aunt was out of line a couple days later his dad told us that his aunt never wants to see me again and disapproves of me being with my BF so I ate a for stating my views on a topic I was asked about. Edits. I just wanted to clear up and add in some things it's very common to ask 16 year olds about uni and careers because it's a big focus in schools and at 16 you're already in your first year of college 16 as the legal age of consent culture has been asked a lot. Both me and BF were born and raised in Brishan but I was raised with German culture due to my dad being German and he was raised with Spanish culture because his dad's side is Spanish I reached out to my BF's sister, the mother to be, and apologized if I made her uncomfortable or ruined her party. She said she didn't blame me and the aunt has done this interrogation to many spouses and I'm helping my BF's dad plan a baby shower for her. It's a little smaller but it's to make up for the drama my BF's dad did tell me about his aunt not liking me but said he doesn't care what she thinks. NTA. You got a free no contact forever card. Enjoy. NTA. She asked, intrusively and obsessively, and you answered. Who badgers anyone, especially a 16-year-old, about their current, future reproductive choices? If at any point you don't want to give very personal information like that out to an actual stranger, you can always say, I'm not comfortable answering that question. Can we talk about something else? Of course you are fully within your rights to answer everyone exactly as you did, because she asked. My God. NTA. His aunt is way out of line. So was the rest of the family there for not shutting that conversation down. Who TF interrogates their 17-year-old nephew's new girlfriend like that at all? let alone at someone's baby shower. You're only 16. It's not like you're in your mid-twenties and have been with this guy for years and they family is naturally asking these questions. And even if you were, they should respect the answer you give them. She ruined the day. I'm glad your BF is on your side. I hope his dad is on your side too and told the aunt to shove it. I'm sorry you had to go through that. It's good that you have an idea of what you want for the future and stick to your guns. This might change as you get older, which is absolutely fine, or it might not, which is absolutely fine. Either way it's up to you and your partner and no one else. No, NTA. Her questions were inappropriate. If she's not ready to hear all possible answers she shouldn't be asking the question. Besides, you're 16, not 30. WTF? NTA, it's not your BF aunt doesn't understand that some people just don't want kids. She's the one that should watch her manner. What if you couldn't have kids, but also decided you don't want them? Would she have been just as upset? NTA his aunt shouldn't have been asking questions like that if she didn't want to hear your answers. NTA. She asked, you answered. Not only that she kept pressing you for answers. I'm hoping at some point your boyfriend chimed in with his support of your right to choose what happens to your own body. Either way some random aunt's opinion means bupkis. If they don't like the answer then they shouldn't ask the question. NTA. 
The ants very up herself and shouldn't have put you, a 16-year-old, in such a difficult position. You're only young, you should be enjoying your life not getting tied down so early in life. NTA the ant was out of line. NTA. Ant doesn't need to be grilling a minor about family planning. Ant is the awe in all of this. NTA. Nosy ant shouldn't ask questions if she's gonna get so upset over the answers. Next time just say, I don't think that's any of your business, and leave it at that. You don't need to explain things like this to anyone other than potential partners. NTA. I'm a mid-30s child-free woman and loving it. Sadly many people assume that being child-free I punt babies, steal candy from small children, and tell them Santa doesn't exist just to see them cry. People have a hard time understanding you don't have to hate children to just not want one yourself. I personally fully look forward to being an aunt just never a mother. You handled this well but sadly will probably have to deal with this throughout your life because people suck. Info. Was the party at your aunt's house or did she host it? Because why can she just throw you out if it's his sister's baby shower? NTA. You didn't ruin anything, his aunt did it for you. I hate those people who claim to know what you need and want better than yourself, just because they're older or have a different view. When I was 16 I didn't want kids. I had an abortion when I was 22. I am now 26 and getting a tubal ligation in a few months. Not having kids and being pro-abortion is your choice. You have your reasons and she has no right to shame you for your ideas, especially those ones. NTA auntie asked a question she had no right to ask and didn't like the answer she got. Sad day for auntie. Silver lining. She never wants to see you again rainbow. NTA. What kind of awe put a 16 yo on the grill like that? She should learn manieres. And so do all the others that didn't shut her up right away. Asking those questions casually is a thing but going that far is a huge display of controlling behavior. Hopefully, your BF and his dad are on your side and they are for good reasons. Avoid the crazy aunt as much as you can. NTA, but please remember that you're under no obligation to answer questions like that. It's perfectly acceptable to deflect that kind of interrogation by telling them things like, oh, I'm young and still figuring out life, who knows what the future might hold. The only people who deserve answers about your future plans for life or family are the people who will be building that life and family with you. NTA. A grown adult asked a minor about the sex life and baby choices. That is way out of line. Enjoy the no contact request from the aunt. It's a blessing in disguise. NTA. But for the record I always just said, maybe someday, down the line, to extended family when I was your age. Just cause I knew that stuff would come up. And I am a dude.